guys, what's up? This is Ghostface Reviews, back with another video review. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this piece right here. This is the Ghost Papa 2 Grucifix Staff. Now, if you're not a fan of the band Ghost, then definitely go check them out. Um, there's something for everyone. And they have a super theatrical look, um, quite a dark one. And basically, Papa um, is a character played by Tobias Forge. Um, and there's been a variation of Papas throughout the album cycles. There's been Papa 1, Papa 2, Papa 3. There's the character of Papa Nil. Um, and then we've got the more recent ones, such as Cardinal Copia, etc. Um, etc. Et but this is the staff that he used during the Papa 2 era. Uh, it's a really, really cool piece. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I actually am a really big Ghost fan. Don't know how well you guys can see. Um, but yeah, I ordered a ton of ghost masks that are going to be coming um, in the next few days, probably most likely tomorrow, and um, also the full Papa 2 costume. So they're going to be unboxed on this channel and then we're going to be building a Papa 2 life size sometime soon as well. But this is the first item that arrived out of the whole set and this is, like I said, the Papa 2 ghost uh, crucifix staff. So I'll be back in just a moment with some close-ups of the packaging before we open it up and I'll show you the whole thing in detail. Um, from what I can see so far, it's really high quality. So I'll let you guys know um, in a minute when it's all opened up and yeah, we'll run through it. So everything is now fully out of the packaging um, and I just wanted to say um, that this is a really good quality piece for the price. Now if you're pretty serious about doing uh, a Papa 2 cosplay or some kind of um, Halloween costume etc which is what I'm going to be doing this year then I definitely recommend getting this while Trick or Treat Studios still have these in stock. Uh, they only retail for $19.95 so they're actually a really really good price. Um, and as you can see, the detail on them is actually really, really good, especially on the G at the very top there. Um, I just figured I'd show you guys this quick when it's in the three separate parts before I assemble it fully, so you can see the full height of this um, staff. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like when it comes straight out of the bubble wrap that it comes in. It's uh, it's like a it's like a really hard plastic, um, and the paint job is pretty good to be honest on the top of it on the. Uh, G of the Grucifix, which is awesome. And then it's got these little silver bits at the bottom, which these parts screw into. And these also have the silver parts at the bottom too. So I'll give you guys a little update when it's all screwed together in just a moment, now that you've seen it out of the packaging, and I'll show you what it looks like fully uh, assembled. All right guys, so I've just finished assembling the staff now. Um, it's now fully complete comes in three separate parts and each part is uh, separated by these silver rings that are going down the staff. Now the only complaint I actually have with this piece is the fact that the bottom uh, piece on my one seems to be ever so slightly loose so I'm thinking about super gluing each of these joints together so that it becomes more of a fully permanently assembled piece um, so it's not loose if I'm walking around with it in the Papa 2 costume. But other than that guys, no complaints with it at all. Um, I definitely recommend getting this for a um, ghost display, especially considering the fact that it's only 19.99 or 95 I think it was one of those two. But it's really really great for the price. Um, I'm, I'm a massive fan of the paintwork on the top of the Grucifix. Um, it's just really, really great. It's got a sort of quite a tarnished look to the silver paintwork on it. Um, I might actually go over this as well and give it a little bit of a touch up, just make it look even more like real metal, um, and uh, see what I can do in it. But if I do anything like that, guys, I'll give you an update. Um, but yeah, this is the first ghost unboxing slash review 
um, on the channel, but there's going to be plenty more because, like I said, I've got the Papith Emeritus 3 mask and the Papa Emeritus 2 Deluxe mask with the Mitre coming. So, um, those are something to be looking out for. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I couldn't find one of it on YouTube um, anywhere, so I decided to make the first one. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed it and it helps if you're considering buying this piece for your collection. But yeah guys, other than that, I want to say thanks for watching, um, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers for watching.